Martin, it's an exciting time for you. Obviously, the Gold Cup is on the horizon and uh, it's the makings of being a cracking contest this time round. It is, yeah. Apart from Gallop and Deschamps and our own horse here, like there's a, a group of good grade one winners in it. So all being trained for the day itself. Uh, Jerry Colomb ha not having run since Christmas and uh, Gentleman's Game not having run since previous to that. So if they all turn up on the day, they're trained by men who know how to win the race. Like they've bo both been, uh, both Gordon and Mouse have won the race before. Of course, Willie's won it a few times. So um, it's going to be a great race. For many working in the National Hunt game, it's the ultimate prize, Martin. Would you consider it that? It is, yeah. I'd, I'd always thought the National now would always do me any day of the week. But um, it's great to have a horse to compete in it. And uh, sure it's the Gold Cup is the Gold Cup. It's uh, the pinnacle of the, the National Hunt season, really, to, to have a, a horse even taking part in it. Yeah, but you, you, you need a horse that's going to be competitive. You do, and you certainly have one of those in fast or slow. I mean, he, he is some horse, isn't he? He is, yeah. Look, at he loves his racing and he, he jumps great and he has a bit of class. So uh, there's no downside to him, really, no, except find him one too, too good for him, maybe. Well, he revealed himself in the Ultima last year at the festival, Martin. So, you know, over that, that race obviously proves that, you know, he, he will like Cheltenham and he just found one too good in Cora Grandler and there was no shame in being beaten by him considering what he went on to achieve. That's right. And we gave, I think we gave the winner four or five pounds on the day and uh, it was faster so his first run in the handicap, only his fourth over fences. So there was always going to be improvement to come just from taking part in a race like that especially a competitive handicap around there. So um, he proved that that was the case when he went to punch us down and won the Gold Cup there. So uh, we still think there's more to come from him. It was nice having beaten Gallop and Deschamps, the Gold Cup winner at Punchestown Martin, to back that up with a victory in the Durkin Chase. That was, a, that, that was a, a great vindication of the fact that you had a really good horse in your hands. I'm sure regardless of what you beat in any race, it's great to win those races. You know, they're grade one races, so they're always going to be top class horses in them. So uh, regardless of whether it was Gallop and Deschamps or something else, uh, it was lovely to win. It was. You, you missed the Savills Chase. Uh, that was obviously, you might just tell us the reasons behind that. Yeah, we missed the Savills Chase because of the change in weather. I think, I said from the time it started, there was about 35 mil of rain and uh, we had runners there. I had the runner second in the Paddy Power. The, handicap, the top handicap, and uh, we decided rather than get him into a big slog there, we'd wait another month and we were hoping for a bit of drier ground at the Dublin Racing Festival. So uh, ground was soft enough at the Dublin Racing Festival, but wouldn't have been as bad as it was at Christmas, so um, we were happy to do that. And uh, he ran a good, creditable race, finished second to Gallop in the Champ. He did, Martin, and at one stage I think a lot of people thought maybe, you know, he was going to go on and win, but, you know, in, in fairness to Gallop and the Champ, he had that run behind him shortly before then, probably that, that was the difference between them on the day. It probably was, and, and the winner was able to dictate pace on his own terms, and it's always hard to get by a horse uh, of that class in, in those circumstances. Ideally, you'd like a good even pace from start to finish, where, you know, horses are well sorted out by the time that at the back of the third last and then you know the race is really on then in earnest and you'll see if how his stamina would have held out but uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, stamina isn't an issue with him. So well he was certainly staying on well in the Ultima like he finished like a train. He did he finished well yeah no I don't think stamina you know, and he, he just he's a good traveller and he jumps really well so in a in a proper run gold cup he should be fairly comfortable start from the beginning and uh, able to hold his position wherever he wants to be through his jumping and pace so uh, whatever happens from the back of the second last as you know in gold cups even from the back of the last uh, that race changes watch live racing now on racingtv.com